So let's go on to the next one. <coughs> you want a piece of paper or card, 11 and 5 eighths of an inch by 7 and a half. And we're going to score it at 3 quarters, which is our binding strip. And then at 5 and a quarter, let's check my measurements, and at 8 and a half. that off the scoreboard. On that second line at your five and a quarter inch score mark you need to make it a little mark an inch up. Go to the end of your paper and make another one. Do the same on the top. Inch and an inch and we're going to cut that off. So my ruler. So we make the mark and cut it there and cut it away on that inch. We'll give you this. So your page should look like this now. So what we're going to do then is to fold this one backwards. So give that a good sharp fold. And then this one inwards. We've done that slightly shy of that so it fits in there nicely. That folds into there. If you want to, you can round your edges. I think that gives it a nice finish. Oh, I've got a zutter, which is great because you can do chipboard and things with this one. Thick board and things like that. Whereas you can't with a ordinary punch do the thicker things. So I might even round the corners of this as well this time. I can get, get it in there. Yeah. There you are. So with the corners rounded it looks like that. So that's going to go back in there. We're going to put a ribbon in there to keep it closed and decorate this page. So I'm going to stamp the script stamp with a brilliant, just a bottom piece. We're going to pop that on the top. Again take your ink to your um, I'm just going to take it off there. That I'm going to have to get another piece of paper and mask. So if you don't want it to go on that piece, which we don't, just mask it with a piece of scrap and then stamp down again. Not making a terribly neat job of that, but it's going to be covered up so it doesn't really matter. So that's going to go across there. I'm going to use this page with the um, with the cage on it, and I'm going to just put a pencil mark where I want it to go. Remember to keep the binding strip clear. So I'm just going to cut that off now. I'd like to be a tidy person actually, but I'm really not ever. <laughs> I'm very unorganised. So that's going to go on there, like so. And what we're going to do first before we stick that down is we're going to put some ribbon underneath it. I'm going to cut off. I think probably 10 inches will probably be enough. So we're going to centre that ribbon in the centre of this and just take it across to a couple of inches perhaps there and I'm going to actually stick it down so I've got some nice sticky fixed tele tape here. You could stick it down with double sided tape, that would be fine. 
really make sure that it's nice and firmly down there and then we're going to just mat over the top of that terrible EATG. I keep complaining about it but I'm not making any effort to take it off and put it back in. <laughs> See, told you I wasn't very organised. Right, let's centre that. <laughs> I'll never be organised in a million years. So that's going to be one side of the ribbon and then we're going to attach another piece. Probably see about eight inches on that one and that's going to go in the sort of center line that up with the other one and we're going to stick that on there against the scored line of your binding that's where it's going to go stick it down you're not going to want to stick it any further than this edge comes of this insert so let's take a bit off that so close that and then you'll know you're not coming further than that still too long I've got the end piece that I've just cut off. I've got that attached to it. Oh goodness sake, it's gonna <laughs> it's gonna be covered over. <laughs> oh dear. It's so funny sometimes, isn't it? Right, let's let's <laughs> let's get on. Now I'm gonna use these two birds. Because I love these two birds, they're really sweet. So I'm gonna just cut that there and I'm just gonna make a mark so that I can cut it off the same length as the insert is that's going to be cut I'm going to move that ink out of the way so let's just cut the top of that off that's going to be on there if you want to you could actually round those corners with the zutter whatever if you've got a punch you can use a punch or oh, any decorative edge would be nice so that goes on there like that that looks nice Just, um, this ATG is going to fall off the end in a minute <laughs> and then I don't have any sticky <laughs> ah look at it hanging off the end don't be so lazy, Judy. That's what everybody's saying. Everybody's thinking, don't be so lazy. Get and take it off and redo it. Right, so pop that on there. Turn it over. I'm going to do the same with this one. I've left that one a bit wider because we want to include the whole bird. So that virtually covers the whole thing, that one. So let's just make a mark again at the top. Cut that off. Around the corners again. That's going to be placed on there. To decorate it a bit more, I've stamped this image and I've done it twice. Once with Stormy Sky, I've used all distress inks. Um, the Tim Holtz one so it's Stormy Sky and Victorian Velvet and as I say I've stamped it once with each of those colours and I've just cut the hearts out the pink one and I'm going to just 3D those onto there so just get some and you can decorate it put all sorts of things on this to decorate it you could put some stickles on this heart this top one just to make it stand out more 
if you've got a little flower I've got a little flat some little flowers here I think I bought these at a show um, I've had them a long time but they're tiny little flowers I'm going to pop one of those little flowers if you've got something maybe you've got a little um, Like the little, um, oh, what was the word I'm looking for? Like confetti flower or anything that would go on there. A pretty little brad, anything. Put that in there. Then let's just 3D that one. If you want to ink up a little bit with a different colour, you could go around the sides of it. That was another thing you could do. But that just brings that up a little bit. As I say, I'm going to put some stickles on there, but I won't do it while I'm putting it together, otherwise that will be everywhere. So I'm just going to pop that on with a glue dot, and as I say, you could find some little flowers and decorative pieces. You could put some in there. I might put some leaves and some flowers in there, but I'll show you the finished album at the end anyway, so you can see what I've done. So keep this because we'll use this again for something else and that is going to pop into there. I'm going to use um, it's this stamp but I'm going to use just that lacy piece at the top so I'm just going to ink that up at the, at the edge. I'm going to pop that because that will just fit in there in that space at the top just for something decorative on there so you don't have to use your stamp all in one go in you know in its entirety you can use it different sections of them so we'll pop that on there I don't want to stamp on the tag there, and I'll do it on the other one as well. And then I'm just going to stick that one on there. That would be that. If you've got some other stamps, you could just stamp some more images at the top, some little swirls. That will fold in now. And then you can tie a bow in that, um, like this, to tie it up. So that will look like that, a bit, do it a bit tidier than that. So that's your page for there and you've got that plain page that you can put some photos on. I'm going to put some flowers and some little bits and pieces on mine when I've finished. You, you can do the same and just decorate it, put some little embellishments on it if you want to. 